What is going on everybody, FJC here back with another Delta Force video. Now that the playtest has been out officially for about a day and a half, I thought it'd be good to give you guys my opinion and also talk about the general opinion of the community because majority of the people that I have talked to and looked in Twitch chats, they are all saying the same thing. And for Delta Force's future, it's actually a very beneficial thing. Before we get into the video guys, if you could check out my Twitch and my TikTok, both are going to be linked in the description, as well as make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel channel and turn on post notifications so you can stay notified whenever a new video is uploaded. With all that out of the way, I can't tell you guys how much I've been enjoying this playtest. It truly feels amazing for an alpha, but I definitely can't sit here and say the game is perfect. There are some things in my opinion that they can tweak, but for what the game is at face value, I can tell you it's amazing. So far, I'm extremely happy with the performance of the game and it seems like the minimum requirements that they said on Steam are pretty accurate. I've noticed with a lot of new titles, they tend to release minimum requirements for their game, but those are just not accurate at all. You end up opening up the game and it's more demanding than what the minimum requirements specify. Because this is also an alpha, I'm taking the performance with a grain of salt. This isn't going to be the final product of the game, so everybody just has to remember that as well. One of the biggest pros that I have to say about Delta Force Hawk Ops is the time to kill in the game feels fantastic. There has been no weapon that I've picked up that I thought was extremely overpowered. Every weapon that I've used has felt extremely balanced. Of course, you're going to get some weapons because of faster fire rate or higher caliber bullet that are going to kill a little bit quicker, but there has been no weapon that I've used that I've immediately thought to myself, this weapon is extremely overpowered and needs to be tuned ASAP. But as you can tell from the title of the video, everybody in the Delta Force Hawk Ops community is relatively saying the same thing about this game. And the number one thing that I have seen across YouTube, Twitch, and all social media platforms is that Delta Force Hawk Ops is exactly what Battlefield 2042 should have been, and I wholeheartedly agree on that. I remember opening up the 2042 beta back when it released a couple of years ago, and the first thing that came to my mind in my first match was, oh cool, we have Apex Legends in Battlefield now. And that wasn't even because of the operators. The operators weren't the issue for me. The main issue for me in the game was the fact that I opened up a Battlefield game, and I was able to slide cancel, bunny hop, and jump shot. And this is all in my personal opinion, but I am also somebody who loved Battlefield 3 and 4, which had very different movement mechanics compared to 2042. I have personally never opened up a Battlefield game or purchased one because I wanted super fast movement, but the movement mechanic shift from Battlefield 5 to 2042 was completely drastic and different from what we've seen in the Battlefield series as a whole. I'm all for change, and a long time FPS series definitely needs some change over time, but when you're drastically changing the mechanics of a game and practically just making the game like Call of Duty, something's not right. On top of that, I don't want to go into too much detail on 2042's launch, but if you're unfamiliar, the launch of the game was absolutely terrible. The game was most certainly not finished yet, but we still got it on launch day, and there was so many problems and bugs with the game, and there were just a ton of features that are pretty standard in FPS games, in my opinion, like a scoreboard that took EA a year to release. So good job on Delta Force for releasing the game with a scoreboard. I really appreciate that. All jokes aside, though, this game game definitely isn't perfect. There are some things that need to be tweaked, but considering this game is in an alpha state, this is one of the better alphas that I've ever played. If I have one big complaint about this game, sometimes the movement does feel a little bit clunky, more specifically in the vaulting mechanic. Sometimes I feel like I'm trying to vault an object and it just won't let me or I think I'll be able to vault an object because of its height, and I'll have to press jump a couple of times before it actually vaults. And my second biggest takeaway from this alpha so far is that vehicles are definitely not overpowered, but they are pretty hard to get rid of. I was honestly surprised when I opened up this game and I didn't see any form of anti-vehicle mines or even a C4. I know there's currently the operator in the game that allows you to use rocket launchers, but the rocket launchers usually take three to four rockets in this game to take down a tank, which which is just too many in my opinion. Other than that, guys, I'm really pleased with the game that we have at the current moment. I really can't complain. For me personally, if the game was to release tomorrow and they called it a full release, I definitely wouldn't think the game is perfectly ready, but I'd be pretty happy with the product that we're given. As always, guys, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So if you agree or disagree with anything that I've said throughout this video, please let me know down there. I'm going to be grinding Delta Force Hawk Ops for however long the alpha 
is going on, so make sure you are following my Twitch channel so you can stay up to date with Delta Force content as well as watch me play it live. As well, guys, if you want to see any specific types of videos for Delta Force, for example, if you want to see weapon builds or funny moments, also let me know down there. For the time being, I definitely want to main this game for a while because of how much fun I've had on it. Arena Breakout Infinite also has a beta around the corner, so I plan to upload content for that as well, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be everything from me for today, though, guys. Once again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you get notified anytime I upload. This is a brand new chapter for the community, guys, so I hope you really do enjoy the content that I'm going to be pushing out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day. Much love.